What is going on folks? Welcome back to another exciting episode of 970 Bass Fishing. Today I'm back out here at Pirate Lake in search of the biggest bass of my life. I know it's out here. I know it is. We just gotta find it. These are this is kind of a different test too because this is post frontal conditions. It rained last night, made the water dirty, so I'm just kind of testing to see how shallow these fish will actually go after that. It's a nice sunny day. There's a little bit of wind blowing, but I can see some calm spots I'm going to work my way into and run these banks. See if I can't find any of these fish that are thinking about spawning here soon or getting close or moving up, you know what I mean? So we're just going to run this bank, this side bank. I'm not going to worry too much about that bank. Over there, there's a lot of people running that trail and kids running the bank and just rocks being thrown in. It's just not ideal right now. So without talking too much, let's get on it. See if we can't catch a big fish. I'm going to start out with a spinner bait because that's just, that's just one of those awesome baits. One of those perfect baits you can't really uh, go wrong with. Covers a lot of water, puts that bait right in front of that fish's face fires them up and of course the jerk bait because it's still jerk bait season so why not throw a jerk bait but let's get at it guys I'm done talking peace all right folks starting out with the white spinner bait post frontal conditions guys I'm hoping I waited methodically till this afternoon for the sun to come out. See what happens. Hopefully, warm the water up, made them cruise a little more. Because here in Colorado, they don't really care for rain. We don't like to bite after the rain, in most cases. Pre-storm conditions are usually the best. At least that's when I caught my five pounder last year. It's just before a giant storm. This is gonna be the juice today, fellas. I can feel it. Okay, folks, I switched to a new tactic that I really used to like. It's just a pegged D bomb by Missile Baits. Just a creature bait. And I'm just going to run it kind of like it's kind of like a structure head. I'll be able to wobble it all around, but keep that weight pretty sleek to the bait so I don't get hung up in weeds a lot. We're just going to do it back here in this cove, see if any of these fish have moved back here. There's a good break in the water back here. The wind usually doesn't get too, too bad, so if there's any bedding fish or anything like that, they'd be back here and probably back in that cove over there. But I got one already. Already, guys. Just took it and swam with it. Already got one on first cast with a nice fish too. Nice, nice fish right at the roof of the mouth. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. That is a tank. Holy crap. Right in the roof of the mouth. He wasn't going anywhere. First cast out, I just rigged this up guys. We got this three and a half, maybe four pounder. Right here on the structure bug. Look at that mouth. Look at that bucket mouth. That is a gorgeous fish. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get a weight on that fish. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful fish. That was 
Awesome, thank you. Wow. The first cast out with it, guys. Wow. That is a beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. That is awesome, guys. So it looks like they're hitting the Texas rigs pretty good right now. It says three six, almost three and a half pounder. Three eight would be three and a half on that scale. My goodness, that is a beautiful fish. Fat, fat fish. Let's get a picture. We get this fish back in the water. All right, time to release this beautiful three and a half pounder back into its home. See you later, buddy. There she goes. Yes! <laughs> yes! That is a beautiful, perfect fish for a perfect day out on the water. First cast with the structure bug back here, or the D bomb. It's just such an awesome bait to flip these. Just all these weeds out here in this calm water. That's definitely a fish that's moving in there, getting ready. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, guys, let's try again. That was way out there, too. So they're, they're sitting right at the mouth of this back here. That fish just went back where it wanted to go. That was a nice fish. That fish just took off with it. That D-bomb and that color right there, I'll tell you guys the color at the end of the day here. That color has just done a phenomenal job for me in the past and even now in the present. That was a gorgeous fish, healthy fish. That fish is going to get big. Big, big. Reminded me a lot of my four and a half from last year. Just had just some length to it, but wasn't too skinny. That was so awesome. And the way I'm working this, guys, is kind of, I don't know, I switch it up. It's kind of like a jig in a way and the Texas rig. I'll give it two bumps and just let it sink again. Or sometimes I'll just kind of drag it. I'll just drag it. You know, just one, one drag, cast it out there, let it sink. And I'm always just watching my line for a tick or a little twitch. Because these fish will, I mean, they'll do a lot of things with it. They'll sit with it. You'll just see one twitch and they'll just sit there with it. So I reel down and wait to feel them. But that last fish just swam off with it. He just started swimming towards the back of this cove here. So you always just gotta look, watch your line, be a line watcher. See a lot more bites that way. So, uh, jerk bait one more time over here. There's a lot of fish activity going on out here. Oh man, that's a good fish, guys. Oh man, on the jerk bait, he's running. Oh, please don't. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. I don't know how good you're hooked. No, no, stay. Stay pinned. 
Stay pinned. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. Another good one. Yes. Not as big as I thought, guys, but man. That fish ran, ran, ran. That fish ran for it. Oh my gosh, yes. Jerk bait and Texas rig today. That's two fish better than the last video, folks. This fish is probably two and a half, two pounds, probably. Let's see here. It's barely pinned. One ounce away from two and a half. But hey, we'll call it two and a half. Why not? Heck yeah, that's a beautiful fish, guys. Let's snap another pick. Yes! I am freaking pumped! All right, see you later, buddy. You're probably ready to go back anyways. Oh, 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 Bye-bye. She's going right back where she came from. First cast with a jerk bait out there too. Just freaking hammered it. Ended up pinning her mouth shut. And then right as I got it on the bank, I don't know if you guys saw that, but freaking hook popped out. Good thing there's three treble hooks on these bad boys. Man, what an awesome day. Three and a half. A two and a half. What's next? That fish just crushed it too. Ran halfway across the lake, ran all the way over here. Was not looking to get caught today, that's for sure. That was just on the two one cadence, guys. Not very long of a pause, like a second and a half probably. That fish just came out and destructed that thing. All right, folks, I think I'm gonna end the day here. What a freaking awesome day. Uh, hit it with the, the Texas rig, missile baits, the D-bomb. That was pegged with an eighth ounce tungsten weight and then I hit it with that perch jerk bait with a two and a half and a three and a half on the Texas rig missile baits D-bomb I'll show you actually before I forget I'm not endorsed by this company or sponsored by this company in any way shape or form but these baits perform if you haven't tried them they're, they're pretty inexpensive but it's the missile baits it's a D-bomb it's like a little beaver and this color Golden Amber just crushes it out here. This is the only color that I've got left, and this is my favorite color by far. This bait just flat out catches fish. It smells good. I bet it tastes good even. I bet it does taste good, honestly. I would probably taste it. Actually, let's taste it. Let's see what these fish are eating. It's not bad, you know, it's really not bad. That's a good bait. That three and a half held on to that bait right there. It's a great bait. Also pretty inexpensive jerk bait. Fishing on a budget, kind of like I am. This jerk bait right here, $5. Three treble hooks, suspends perfectly. And it's the Cabela's Mean Eye, the Mean Eye Perch. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. What an amazing day out here at Pirate Lake. I finally caught two fish. That's one fish better than the past three, four videos. If you guys liked the video, smash that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Just let me know what you want to see different, what you want to see next, all that. Smash that like button. That helps me out a lot. And uh, if you guys like that Keep It Real fishing shirt, as always, down in the description. 
KeepItRealClothing.com, promo code 970BASS at checkout and you get 15% off your order. Because I love you guys and I appreciate everything you do for me and for this channel. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. And I love being out here. So beautiful. Look at those mountains. They're purple. But I, that's all I got, guys. As always, stay hooked. Go out and catch some big fish. It's starting to warm up. And it's about to get into that time where you can catch those giant fish. You can catch them all year round, but I mean, you have a better, better chance than most to get them out here in the spring. And the pre-spawn, you just got to find these beds. And for me, bank fishing, it puts those fish where I can get to those fish. But that's enough talking, guys. As always, stay hooked. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of 970 Bass Fish. Peace. Reach out, my reaching